Available now from Arrow Home Video on Blu-ray is Giants and Toys. This is a late 1950s Japanese film uh, from the director of the previous Arrow releases, Black Test Car and The Black Report. Uh, this is in color, unlike those later films. This is from, I believe, 1958, and Black Test Car and Black Report were from early 60s. And it covers, um, in broad strokes, a lot of the same territory. Uh, looking at and sort of attacking through satire, ooh, excuse me, through satire and, and social comment, um, the Japanese business world, Japanese salarymen, what people would do in that business culture um, to to succeed and and feed the feed the beast, feed the the company coffers at all costs. So whereas Black Test Car, car was about um, t rival companies trying to get a car out to market. Uh, the Black Report was about, you know, <clears throat> dark doings in the business world. Here with Giants and Toys, we have a somewhat lighter in tone story of three rival candy companies doing everything they can to become number one in their market. And that is all about promotion and, you know, print ads and, and, uh, not really so much about TV quite as much, but print ads and on the scene promotions and wacky gimmicks and what can they give away and what can they do and how can they be number one. And then some of it also revolves around taking this sort of like average girl homely by, you know, by commercial standards and turning her into this, you know, spokeswoman for uh, this candy bar company and and what does it do to her and what does it do to the people who are involved in sort of exploiting this young woman really so um this is a very interesting film very nicely shot uh nice color you know uh late 50s japan in color is kind of cool and um you see some of the oddball and kind of wacky and goofy attempts to outdo each other with these companies in the marketing and it's it's not it rem it's reminiscent of those other films I mentioned from the same director. Um, it's also reminiscent to me to a degree of uh, Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter. Not as wacky as that Frank Tash Tashlin movie, um, but similar in just the satire of, of media, of, you know, the advertising industry and these companies who are just doing everything they can in this cutthroat way to to get to the top and, and just grind their grind their enemies, hear the lamentation of their enemies, grind them into the ground and, uh, you know, make their bosses happy. And it, it gets pretty desperate and dramatic at times with what some of these people will do, how far these guys will go to be successful. It's about honor and it's about success and business and really putting profit over people, which is something that really hasn't ever gone away. Um, very interesting movie. I think personally, I liked Black Test Car better. And, and maybe it's just because I saw it first. Uh, and I know this is a film that I've read about for years, Giants and Toys. It, I, I want to say it might have had a Criterion release at one point, but I'm not sure. I know there was a previous video release, but this Arrow edition... I mean, it's Arrow, so I, I always say the same thing. It looks fantastic. It looks the best it's ever looked. Uh, and some good supplements, too, that put it into context of other Japanese cinema, other films from the same director, and also just Japanese culture of the day. So you've got an audio commentary for the film. You've got, I believe, an introduction for the film and also a video essay that gets into, you know, the details of of all this stuff, which I find fascinating because I know, you know, a little about Japanese culture from over the years and a little about Japanese cinema from being a fan of it from over the years. But, uh, I, I love that these arrow supplements sort of help me kind of put this puzzle piece in the grand scheme of the, the world at the time and what came before and what were, was to follow. So, uh, another great release from arrow, probably, um, mostly of interest to Japanese film fans, uh, fans of the same director, or uh, people who are interested in seeing sort of like, you know, what would a, just a more serious Japanese take on well, so would, Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter be? So out now on Blu-ray from Arrow Home Video, Giants and Toys.